Hello everyone, welcome to our live webinar. Today we're going to be doing some teaching with the square in a square system. We're going to learn how to make a basic square, trim an option one square in a square, make flying geese option three, half square triangles option four, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Today we're also going to show a little bit of the beginning of the diamond steps. Now all of these options and triangle units of the square in a square system we have been teaching for close to 40 years. There are a lot of YouTube videos, there's a lot of Facebook videos, and of course we have our webinars that we have hundreds and hundreds of hours of webinars and all you have to do is go to squareinasquare.com and sign up to be on our email list and you can get in there and watch tons of hours of uh, quilting and piecing and um, color, just uh, binding, just everything that you need to know about making a quilt and playing with our fabric because that's what it's all about. One of the uh, comments on today's uh, program before we got started, the lady said that she always learns something new by watching our classes and another one said that she gets you know, so many different ideas and uh, uh, just different, her ideas uh, are just expanding the opportunities of what she can do, her list is long, and I love that. I love that. There's nothing wrong with having a big long list of things that you want to make. And the square in a square system will help you get to that list and get that, that stuff, all that fun done. It's not just about finishing and accomplishing, but it's about the trip, it's about the ride, it's what we enjoy doing. We enjoy picking out the fabric, we enjoy cutting it and pressing it and, and seeing it come together with other little pieces of fabric to create this beautiful idea that has, has grown from your mind. And so it's, it's just so exciting to be able to be here, have you guys watch and know that I'm helping you expand your skills and your knowledge and your ideas. I have tons of ideas. There's a long, long list of things that I want to do, uh, make for me, things that I want to teach, books that I want to write. There's just not enough hours in the day. But um, I love, love, love being able to do these webinars and have you guys watch. So we're going to do a little bit of teaching and I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of our sale items. We started a sale last weekend and it was going to go to Wednesday and then I decided I wanted to add a few more things to it and just kind of update so we did a webinar Wednesday so go back and watch the Sunday and the Wednesday webinars and then of course today. Today is Saturday morning and our sale is over, it's final tomorrow, Sunday evening at midnight. So. At 11.59, you need to be pushing that send button to be able to pick up on any of these uh, items. Some of these things, I've got some things to tell you about we're not going to restock, or if we do, it's going to be a year or longer. So uh, there's sometimes there's just one of these. You can go to the website, squareandsquare.com, and you can put sale up in the search bar, and it will bring up all of the different sale items. And even if you were there yesterday morning, we have added stuff. I kept sending pictures. I was in the warehouse cleaning and putting groups together. I kept sending pictures to Steve and telling him to load those. He was burning the midnight oil last night getting all of this loaded and this morning so that you guys can have um, some good bargains and some good uh, sale things. So um, I'm going to start out with a couple of sale items and then I'm going to go over and show some square and a square stuff. And if you have any questions, you can type that in on the comment section. We have people watching from YouTube, people from Facebook, people from our email, people from our Premium Club, our Quilt Club Week, all of that. So, so jump, jump on in there. Okay, so we offer a lot of machine quilting classes. Most of the machine quilting classes are right on your own home domestic machine that you sew everything on. So Kathy is our main teacher for our machine quilting and we have a lot, lot, lot in our Quilt Club Week and in our Premium Club and all of these different quilting items that I'm going to show you are recommended um, for machine quilting, whether you're doing it on your home machine or whether you have a bigger um, setup with a long arm. So the first one here, and there's just one of these, so let's look down here at our table. This is the quilting paper, so you can trace on it, trace your design, then you lay it down on your quilt, you stitch it, um, you can use a stencil, you can use the pounce, um, 
and then you just tear it off and your design is there and it's ready to go. This is our last one. There's just one set of this. This is normally $34 for these three items. You can get for $25.80. So your quilting paper, you have a pencil for marking on a fabric, and then you have the pounce with the container. So some of ours just have the, the pounce in the bag, which you can put in like a little Tupperware container and use like a little sponge paintbrush, or you can actually have the square hard thing, which is the pounce that you, you pounce around on your on your fabric and it makes a design. It's like drawing your design. You use a stencil, use your pounce, and then you've got it on there. So there's only one of these. It's called Home Machine Quilting Kit. There's three items in it. Normally, um, almost $35 and now it's $25.80. So that's the first one. There's only one of those. Now the other one I'm going to show you is this one that's called the Machine Quilting Kit. So this one has the uh, the gloves, the machine quilting gloves, so you just put those on and it helps grip your fabric so that you can move around, move your quilt around under your needle. And this is some uh, wash away thread that you can use, so sometimes you need to stitch something and then when you wash it or add water to it or steam or whatever, then it goes away. We talk about how to use that in the quilting classes. And then this is a wonderful little book from Pauline Rogers. She's an Australian quilter and um, this book has all of the techniques, tips, and hints on doing a quilt as you go. So what that means is you make a block and you quilt it, and then you make another block and you quilt it, and then she tells you how to do that and then put it all together for one uh, concise quilt. So we only have two of these uh, with these three pieces, and this is normally um, almost $48 you can get for 35 So this is an excellent value. There's uh, only two um, of these little kits. So we are cleaning out the warehouse here, getting room for new stuff. Okay, this next one is kind of a little fun one. It is um, your curved safety pins so that you can pin a quilt and get it ready to quilt. It's a little small bottle, so like if you need to travel with Best Press, You've got some best press in here, so because you, you when you get ready to quilt, you've got to make sure your quilt is all pressed out nice. And then here is a container of pounce. It's just the chalk, so you would use it in like a little Tupperware container and get one of those little sponge paint brushes to use it and put it in your stencils. It is an excellent way to mark your quilts. I love that. So this one, um, I'm thinking there's only like maybe like three of these. There's not very many of these. You can get all of this for um, $14.57. So that is a great bargain for that. And then we have one that is um, the, um, the pounce chalk in the container, the machine gloves to move your fabric around with, and it's two items. Uh, you can choose a color and you can choose a size and it's normally $27, you can get for $18. So a nice, nice discount on that. Lots of different little varieties. And I think uh, on the website, is there um, a place there for them to look at the size for their, their gloves, to know what size of glove? And it's wow. okay if they're a little bit big. Like, um, to approximate the size, measure the base of your palm where your hand meets your wrist to the tip of your fingers. So mine, mine would be the, the medium. So oh, there's wow. Wow. extra small, small medium, medium large, and then extra large. So I think most people would fall into that small medium to medium large, one of those. And if they are too big, it's okay. You can still do your do your thing. So <clears throat> let's see what, okay, so this one, this one, we have two of these, and this is really, really a cool, um, uh, we call this the pressing kit. You get your wool mat. If you've never pressed on a wool mat, you are really missing out. Press your pieces on a wool mat. We have the little mini iron, which is great for travel, and it's also good if you're doing any of the uh, starch method um, with the English paper piecing or the applique. And there's only two of these sets, and then you get a best press. 
And so this is normally um, $60 for $49, only two of these. And I would say don't, and if you do a $150 order, you're gonna get free shipping, right? To Sunday night. So don't wait, because someone's gonna go in there and order that, and you're gonna miss out. And we can combine orders. Yeah, we can combine orders. So if you need to go in and order and go ahead and check out, because even though you've got it picked out and it's in your cart, it's not yours till you push that pay. Uh, button. And we can, yeah, we can adjust easily. And so we can adjust um, that. Now this is also another one that I'm really excited about. This one is an applique, a starch applique kit. So you have your freezer paper that you can cut out to any size that you want. And what I love about the freezer paper is if you're working with a pattern from a book, you can put that pattern in your in your um, um, printer at home and use this as your paper and that de design will print out on this paper then you can cut it out put it on your fabric and go from there so you don't have to draw it over with a light box or whatever although you can um, so it's your ultimate freezer uh, paper pack it's your little brush that you're going to put your starch down in so you just unscrew that and put this liquid starch down in. So that's awesome to be able to do that. And then the Roxanne glue stick. And the glue stick has two different ends on it. So it has one for a real tiny little thin line and then one when you want a bigger one. And I love the Roxanne in this new um, glue stick mode. So you're going to get these four items, normally $45 on sale for $33. And there's, I think there's only four of those. And then, so we did the iron. Oh, this is a fun one. Um, this is one of our, it's our last wooden seam ripper. It's flat on one side, so it doesn't fall off. We, we still can't find anybody to make our rippers and our stilettos. These were normally $30, weren't they? And uh -huh. if you bought a stiletto and a ripper, then you got them for $25. So, um, and the, the little cap comes off. I don't want to take it off, but the little cap comes off, and then you can put it back on to store it. And then this is the little 1x6 Omni Ruler, and um, you're going to be able to get both of these for $27. That was normally $36.50. This is what I leave by my machine to measure my pieces all the time. I can't live without my little 1x6. So that one is um, just one of those, normally almost $37 for $27. Okay, and we did that one... I think there's one with just gloves and a pounce. Check those out. I'm not sure about that. If oh. you type in the word sale. Sale. Be. And is it S-A-L-E? Is Correct. that what you... Correct? Yep. Or, okay. All right. Now, this one, I didn't... Um, I told Steve, I said, I'm going to talk about the scissors, but I didn't know that we were going to do a sale price on them. So... If you don't have these, you need to go in and get these. Okay, first of all, this one is the, the little short um, embroidery uh, scissors, which I like to use by my machine. I use it in my applique. I have multiples of these. This has those pretty little enamel um, handles on them, and they're not making these anymore, and um, they quit about um, COVID time in 2020. Normally $80 to $120 on these right now, we have it on sale for $45, and there's just one of those, so don't miss out on it. Now, these two are the 5-inch uh, uh, shears. These are what I like by my machine because the blade's a little bit bigger, but it's not too big to have at my sewing machine because I do some cutting of fabric at the machine in the process of making our basic squares, and so I like to be able to have something bigger than a snip or the little embroidery scissors at my machine. This one is called a sewing. Uh, knife edge which I love and um, it has a, just a little bit of a curve on it this one is called a craft and we only have one of each of these on sale uh, we're going to carry them later but we only have one each on sale this is craft so these both edges are the same that come out to a point both of these are great for wool for fabric whatever it is that you want to work on I'm a scissor collector so I love having lots of different scissors everywhere Okay, then we've got, let's do a fabric pack. We showed this one on Wednesdays, and these are half yard pieces. 
Um, it's the two red uh, trains with a red check. It's two greens with a black railroad track. It's the two creams of the railroad and a black check. So you're gonna get nine half yard pieces, normally $56 on sale for $25. So that is excellent value and bargain. Don't forget about these beautiful half yard pieces. Now I have one other, um, one other half yard piece that we just added, but I just have it on the fabric bundle here. It's, um, it's four pieces. It's the black star, the blue and black check, the blue uh, floral, and it's also a green that's kind of hidden back here. You can't see. Normally $25 on sale for $17, and I think there's only 12 of this, this pack. This black is very limited. The blue floral is very limited, um, and the green train um, is very limited. Then we have um, some of these. We're going to do some of these. So we have um, we have three that we call um, historical pieces. It's the one with the the soldier. It's the one with the split rail and the cannons and the laurels, um, all from the 1800s. This one is the train panel. You can get all three of these. They're two yard pieces. It's a two yard piece called the 1800 historical fabric bundle. It's normally $75 for $37. That is so awesome. Then we have um, one that is the uh, panel with the three track ones. So it's the train panel with the three tracks. And those are all two yard pieces. Normally $100 on sale for $49, so less than half on it. And those are all two yard pieces. And then I think we have some with the other uh, train pieces on there, too, that you can look at. I don't have those here on my table, but there are some others. And then I want to show you this one. This one is um, has the, um, uh, the train book, so it's the history of the train that is in it. And then it has a two-yard piece of the train panel. I've shown this one before in the past, but I didn't show it Sunday or Monday, and that's one that's also on sale Normally, um, normally $60 on sale for $50. It's got the book, the history book to go with it. And then we have this one right here, which is three yards of the train. So that's going to be at least, it's probably going to be four panels of the train in that three-yard piece plus some extras. And then it also has a three-yard piece of the soldiers in it. And so those are some great pieces to have. Now, I want to um, talk about two, um, all of the kits, except maybe one or two kits, are on sale on the website and they're 25% off, almost all of them. So even if you don't want to particularly make that quilt, that is still a great value to go in and get that fabric bundle for 25% off. We also have something special on the Village Square kit the fabric amounts are a two yard, a two yard, and a three yard. And you can go in and pick any fabric to be a two yard, a two yard, and a three yard. And you can also choose your pattern. So it's like you can make your own little kit the way that you want it. And we talk about that on the Sunday webinar and on the Wednesday one. We talk about that a little bit in more detail. So you purchase the Village Square. So you go into the website, purchase the Village Square, and then go to the comment section or send an well, email. the comment's not working, but uh, if you would... Um, Just send an email. Send an email, or I'll send you an email. Yeah. If you get that. Yeah, if you us. order it, and we don't know what you want, we'll send you an email. But if you will order it, and then go in and send the email, and say, I want this two yard, this two yard, this three yard, and this pattern, okay? So that's a really excellent uh, thing. Now, there are some fabrics that we are just really down to the last thread on. One of those is that red black check. So when we finished filling orders yesterday, I realized how that one is just as good as gone. So, and it's not in the lineup to be reprinted. We will at some time, but it'll be at least a year before we have any more of that red black check. So. If you're working on something you want more, if you want it in your stash, uh, it's one I always want in my stash. And probably as soon as we get through with orders in the next couple of days, if there's any of it left, I'm going to take it and put it in my stash and not even have any of it out here in the warehouse for it. Um, and so that 
that fabric is used in the star flower, which I'll show you, and it's also used in the country barn. And we showed those two kits on Sunday, Monday, and those have just flown out, and we've had to make more. So um, that's exciting. But the red black check um, is um, as good as gone. Now the other one, any of the um, 1790 florals, um, it came in a blue or red, a dirt. Those are as good as gone. If you're wanting any of it, get it. Any of the stars, the black star, so it's the, the green star, the black star, and the red star. If you're wanting any of that, go in and get it ordered because um, it's, like I said, it's as good as gone. So let's look at um, some quilts and then we'll come back to some of this sale stuff. Oh, let me show you these t-shirts and then I can get them out of my way here. So we have uh, some t-shirts in the turquoise and in the gray, and it's uh, one of our little sayings and our logo. If we could look at that, please, Mr. Cameraman, thank you. Mm -hmm. So you can get those in the turquoise or in the gray. It says shut up and sew, smoke and needle, and then square and a square technique. We're limited on colors and sizes. We're down at the end, and these are on sale also. Okay, let's look at how we make some of these wonderful projects, and then I'll show you a little bit more. And we're also going to talk about the diamond a little bit more today. Now, um, before we uh, go in and do show you the ruler and how to, to make these triangle units so simple and so easy, I want you to look at these two up here. This one is the uh, Soldier's Comfort. There's only a couple of those left. If you're choosing backing to go with it, if you're getting the kit, this is that blue 1790 floral that's that's really gone. The only place you can get it is in these kits. This is Soldier's Comfort. It's like a $89 kit anyway, and then you're going to get it for 25% off. I think you get to choose a backing. You can choose like the black check or the blue black check, um, but you can choose a backing to go with that one. And I love that one. Just very easy, simple to do, very quick. And then this one is Road to Nowhere. I think there's maybe just one of this one left. And it shows the same floral, but in the dirt. And there's a little bit of yardage of this one left. And there's just a little bit of the red one. I don't think I have anything up here with the red over, over. to show you. You want to come over and look at this one. So this one is just three rectangles together. That's a split rail. It's the large dirt square. And then it's the four patch with the dirt floral and the red tattered and torn. Now also some of our tattered and torns are getting really, really low and it'll be a while before we have those again. Um, they're great backgrounds, we love them, we will have them, but they're getting low and we could have a time that, that they are out depending on how, how fast it flies um, out of here. Okay, so that's those two quilts. So this one is the um, Starflower quilt, and you can order kits for it. This has that red-black check in it, which is as good as gone. So if you're wanting any of the red-black check, or if you're wanting a Starflower kit, or a Country Barn kit, you, you really do have to order it now, or it's going to be gone. And this quilt top is also a quilt top that's on sale, and um, I don't remember the price on it, but when the fabric's gone and the kits are gone, then if it's a top that... I don't need for teaching because I've got lots of these, then I, I have to move them out to get more room. Okay, let's look down here at some of our options so that when we look at these quilts, we can talk about how we uh, want to do them. So everything just starts out with a square in the middle and strips on the side. And the different ways you use the ruler to trim these up, and of course you can do any color and any size, you get different triangle units and we call those options because you have the choice or the option with the basic square to come in here and trim it up and get anything um, that you need. And we have 39 different options. That means 39 different triangle units. Really? I'm sorry. Oh, we're 44. We're working on 44. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm behind. Behind on my own brain. Okay, so your inside square has four corners. Uh, and that corner is a 90. So you're going to go to your ruler and you're going to put the tip of that 90. Can we zoom in a little bit, please? 
and I'll move it where I need to so that we can get a, a good picture. I want people to really be able to see. Okay, so see here how we want to leave that fourth of an inch on all four corners to make the very first option one. So we want to put the tip of that 90 right into the tip of that corner. That black line is going to go right over the seam. And this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg, what I'm going to show you today of everything that you can do. Our Premium Club members, our Quilt Club Week people, they are really learning a lot about um, how to make just such clean work, nice sharp points, how to perfect their, their skills, and just how to go in depth looking at the ruler and how to use it. So when I come in here and trim all four corners and I keep it square as I go, then that's my option one. Now these are pretty little, I'm not going to worry about saving those, but when they do get larger, when our scraps get larger, I save them because any of these can be sewn to the side of a square. See this one right here was just leftover pieces sewn to the side of a square. You can come in here and trim it up and get your nice um, clean work ready to go. So we don't, we don't throw away any of them, you can come in here and make make more from any of these little scraps that you trim off. This whole little basket is leftovers from the um, snowball quilt from the snowball uh, book. So here's your option ones, square in a square. You can sew around it again, just like this was a square with strips on it. You can sew around it multiple times. Um, here is one that you can see how this was our square in the middle. We put the red strips on and trimmed it up. And then we came back in with another row of strips and trimmed them up. And this is an option too, a square and a square. You can just keep going around as many times as you want. Now the next one is flying geese. To make flying geese, I want to leave a fourth of an inch on two opposite corners and I want to trim sharp right up to the tip on the other two. So. I'm going to trim up sharp, I call it the two-step, I'm just going to step over two lines. So I put my 90 in the corner and I step one, two, and I make sure it's nice and sharp right in that corner. I want it to be a sharp trim. I make sure my grid line goes through that point. And I do this to the opposite side. Same thing, do the two-step, keep it square where I've already cut. And now I'm going to trim, leaving the fourth of an inch. Oops. Yeah, leave the fourth of an inch. Leave the fourth for the top. Two-step it sharp for the corners. And if I do my two-step two first and my fourth of an inch last, then I can just drag my ruler over to the sharp points and cut it and bam, I have my two perfect flying geese just like that. So if I want to make a star, if I want borders, flying geese are in just about everything that you make. And of course, any colors, you can put things together however you want. Now, when you're doing half square triangles, which is option four, notice when you look at these corners, see how they're sharp on all four corners. So we're going to do that two-step on all four. Um, I'm just going to come in here and retrim this one. So you just do that two-step on all four. So it looks like you're cutting off that fourth of an inch, and I guess you are, but you're moving your points and creating a new seam allowance because you're cutting through this. Just like when we did our flying geese, we had to trim it on two sides because we were cutting. Now on the half square triangles, since we're going to cut through all four corners, we have to do the sharp two-step on all four corners. Now if you wanted um, just individual half square triangles, you would cut and you would cut. But we have a new one that we've been working on, which is the firefly. So you just cut one time, leaving it in a, a firefly rectangle. And look how you can turn them, and we're going to sew them together. And then, after you sew them together, you can come in here and cut them in half. 
and look how you have a firefly. You have a whole row of triangles. You have that whole row and you have this whole row all lined up in like a sawtooth border. Um, there are so many quilts and blocks that use multiple half square triangles going together and normally people don't want to do that because it looks it looks beautiful and you want to do it but you know that it's going to be a hassle and a headache and all of these triangle units you're just going to pull your hair out over but when you can go in and make them like this and help remove that human element give you more speed and more accuracy um, then you're just going to become that that piecer that you've always dreamed of so these are the main units we're going to come back to the diamond shapes here in just a moment but let's look at um, uh, some more of our uh, quilts okay so in the star flower this one looks like it's complicated to do but it's really not once you know how to do what i've just shown you if you know how to make the basic square which is just squares and strips and you know how to trim leaving a fourth of an inch and you know how to trim doing that two-step sharp right up to the tip that's all there is to it on any of this that I'm going to show you so here you can see the flying geese which is option three and then here's the large flying geese for the big star and then this little square here in the corner is an option 11 so just kind of quickly this is not going to be exact but I want you to kind of get the idea Let's look down here for just a moment at the option 11. So we sew around it three, uh, two times. So we have our square in the middle. We sew around it one time. We sew around it. I'm not going to talk about the trim. But you're going to come in here when you get it like this, and you're going to cut it, and you're going to cut it. So basically what you get is you get four of these. See how it's a square with two triangles and the bigger triangle. That's an option 11. And look. That's what this is up here on the quilt. So, of course, the size and the colors are different, but see how you have the square, which was our square in the middle, the first row of triangle units, and then the larger last one. So this is how easy it is to make this option 11. So this quilt normally would be a very difficult quilt to make, but using the square and a square system, it becomes achievable, and anybody um, can do it. I probably made six of these over the last few years because it's just beautiful and it's fun and it's it's pretty simple to do. Okay, let's come over here to the big camera. Well, I guess I need to show diamonds before we go over there, Steve. Let's show some diamonds. Okay. So. Okay, so just like we had our square in the middle with strips on the side and we used the 90 to trim it up, now we're going to put a diamond in the middle. And you can go back and watch, there's videos everywhere on how to uh, cut the diamond that goes in the middle. I'm not going to talk about that today. But see how the strips go around it. And this is your 60 and this is your 120. So just like we put the 90 in the square, we're going to put the 60 in the tip of the uh, diamond shape and trim it up. And I'm not going to actually trim it. but. See right there, there's that fourth of an inch right there that you're going to get. And of course you would turn it and do the bottom with the 60. And then you have the 120 right here and you trim it up and that leaves your fourth of an inch here and you repeat that there. Now if I wanted to make storm at sea, I would lay this diamond down like this and I would put, let's see if I have an option one, I would put an option one and then the diamond, option one, diamond. So this row is just going to alternate. And then, let me see if I can find another diamond cut. They're not going to be the right sizes, but you'll get the idea. Then in the next row, you do a diamond standing up with an option two. So if you can do an option one and option two and make the diamond shape, then that's all you need for storm at sea. These just repeat in a row, and these repeat in a row. And that's all there is to Storm at Sea, which is pretty amazing because that is a very complicated um, design to do. Now, if I want to, remember how we took our block and we cut it in half for flying geese, I can take my diamond and cut it in half to get what we call Canadian geese. I can cut it again and get half square triangles that are long, thin points. It's, it's just really, really simple and endless. And the opportunities are just 
everywhere for you to do it. Now I want you to think about if you do them like this, look how you're going to get a, um, which leads me into that. <laughs> which when you put them in like this, look how you get that four pointed star, which I'm going to show you a quilt where we did that in the sashing. But if you do them like this, then you get a long, thin triangle, eight pointed star. And all of this is in the diamond book, the diamond reference book. So let's look at these and let's come over to this quilt. This one is called Postage Stamp Star. And I can probably do, oh, I don't know. I can probably do maybe three more kits for this one and then it's all gone. So if you're looking for a kit for this one, you, you need to go in there and order it now. And then this quilt top is also on sale. Um, the quilt top... And normally $229, this quilt top's on sale for $195, and it's about 60 by 70. So it's a great size for a recliner, for a couch, um, for a napping quilt. It's a great size, and you can order some backing and get it quilted and have a beautiful quilt. Now, you can't maybe necessarily really tell that this red and green is from the train fabric, but if you have a train enthusiast, get some of the train to go on the back and uh, get this quilt top and you will be very excited about that. All of those fabrics, the gold uh, vine here, the green star, those are all just about gone down to the last thread. Now these two are also two quilts that we have on sale. This one is completely quilted. I don't remember the price on it. You can go in on the website and look. It's our Americana. It's, it's really, it's nice and big. I've uh, laid it out and took a picture on a queen bed before and this is a great value and it has the black and butter check and it has this beautiful black floral on it and it's got some of the Civil War fabrics um, here that we call the weapons and then this one is a queen size crocheted um, bed cover and it is in immaculate shape, no, no mars, no stains, anything, anywhere. And this one we marked down again. Um, it's now $175, which is just amazing. Uh, it's really sad. Someone put all that work into it, and that's, that's the price of it. Okay, so we're going to move these aside. And these will all go off sale on Sunday. Sunday night, you won't be able to get any of them. And this one is one of our kits. It's the Americana Red Railroad. It uses our flying geese, so you can get the kit for 25% off. Make sure you choose a backing to go with it. And um, we've used the red uh, tracks in here, the red elements. Very simple and easy to make. It's a great design, and it uses the option three fine geese. This black star is almost all gone. There's a little red star, a green star. So when these kits are, are gone, that's all they'll be. We won't be able to make more because that fabric is gone. Now this one here is made from our uh, patriotic fabric. This is our Eagle Vine. And we have two different eagles. We have the eagle vine, and then we have an eagle with two flags in its feet. And they're both uh, designs are really pretty. Here are the half square triangles. You can do these in our new firefly method. So you would sew three of them together, cut them in half, and you're gonna have that section and that section. So it really turns quilts like this into quilts that are really easy to do. And it's amazing to look at a quilt with all of these triangle units and say it's easy to do. But that's what the square and square system does. And that's what I just keep working on to improve. We've had the option for half square triangles, the individual ones, for almost 40 years. They came out when, uh, when the first seven options came out. And then just this fall, we've added the Firefly to it where you can get all of these together in one bunch. And it's, it's just so clean and neat and nice. Actually. And there's a Firefly book that will be coming later this spring with the module. Yeah, and it will have a teaching video that goes along with it, but it's just really awesome. And then here are the half square triangles. 
So the block is really this right here with the four eagles. And this is the sashing and the cornerstones. So you can see how putting sashings on your quilt really can change the look of the quilt and have multiple interactions going together to create not only secondary designs, but sometimes third, fourth, and even fifth um, designs. And this is one of our kits. This one is called Eagle Mountain. It's also a pattern called Grizzly Mountain. You can go in and order the pattern. Now this one you can see here, the uh, eagle with the flags. This one is called Eagle Flag. Of course it comes in the red, it comes in the dirt, and it comes in the blue, the red, white, and the blue, and the eagle flag. And here you can see that red check. So since that red check's almost all gone, if you want that kit or any of that red check, you better get it ordered because it is gonna be gone, gone, gone. Here we've used the eagle uh, vine with some checks. And our, this is our dirt flag, so it's got like a tone-on-tone -tone flags on it. And it comes in the blue, the red, the dirt, there's a black and a green on those flags. And this one is the pineapple. This was our square in the middle, just sew around it one time, two times, and then it starts getting eight sides instead of four. And that's option 12, the pineapple. If you go to the Facebook or YouTube around September of 2019, you'll see some videos that we did with the pineapple. So once again, this one has red check in it, so if you're interested in that kit, you better get it because the border will have to be uh, substituted. Now, we're going to go back to this one. This one is the option one right here, the very first one I did, and then that's that option 11 corner like I showed you on the star flower with the big square, two rectangles, and then the bigger triangle. I mean two triangles and the bigger triangle. And even these right here are the option 11, so they're smaller. And we use the scraps, these red uh, pieces, when we trim them off because the square is a little bit bigger, they're a little bit bigger scrap. So we go back and use those here for these red, uh, the red and black check here. So it really um, is a, it, um, we really do teach how to use those pieces back in your quilt again. And sometimes the way something is taught or a pattern is made, you're gonna make your big pieces first so that you can go back in and use your trim offs and your smaller pieces for the smaller pieces uh, in the quilt, wherever those are at. This one here is called Thomas's uh, Log Cabin. Of course, it's the, the one with the eagle fabric. Once again, you can use those firefly, uh, those new fireflies with the half square triangles to get all of these um, in a row. And I think that is it on um, all of those quilts. Okay, so, there's also one called Jingle Jangle that is a big kit and it's got the backing in it and it's really marked down good. I think it's normally like $250 and it's on sale for $175. So be sure and check those fabrics out because even if you don't want to make the Jingle Jangle quilt, the fabrics are gorgeous. So let's look here inside. Let's come have the camera do a zoom. Oh, you're going at the top. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you can see the, the red and tan check. You can see the red floral, you can see the dirt floral, and then you've got a big piece of our dirt tattered and torn. So these are great fabrics, and you're going to save at least $75, almost $100 on the, the big Jingle Jangle kit. So it's a great one to get and add to your stash. It, these are just great basics, even if you don't um, make the quilt the way that we have it. So be sure and look for the big Jingle Jangle um, kit that's normally $250. I think it's on sale for $175. I'm not positive on those prices, but double check. So here in this one, this is for the Union Square. I didn't show the quilt today, but I showed it on Wednesday's um, class. So you've got your beautiful black star, your red train element, some of the red star, this is some of the red star. If you want any of it, go in and order. All we have is, is listed on the website for both of those. We have the um, train in the dirt. I love all the elements. We have the black and dirt check. Uh, the camera doesn't really show you how beautiful this check is. This is just uh, really, really pretty. And then our black train tracks. So those are all part of the Union, the Union Square. This is the quilt, and you can see it on the website. Okay, 
Uh, oh, and we've got some applique kits down here. So we're going to be done here in just a moment. So if you have any questions on anything, something that you want to see again, um, let me know. And um, also I want to tell you about our text line. We have a text line that's 817-713-2879, and that is a quilting hotline. So anytime you have questions or you need help, you can go to that text thread. Had a really busy week this week. I know there's some on there that I need to get to. And if I have to draw something out and get sizes and that kind of stuff for you, it could take a little bit longer. But um, get, uh, go to the text thread, send me pictures, ask your questions, whatever it is that you need, and we'll be happy to help. We also have the email. The email is steve at squareinasquare.com or jody at squareinasquare.com, and we will help you with the email. The email is more for, um, like, do this to my order, or I lost my tracking number, or something like that. The text line is more for help with your quilts. So if, if something comes across the text line, which I'm going to say I control, I work at, I monitor, then I'm going to have to send that over to Steve and say, hey, Steve, can you help them with uh, whatever that is with the order? Because I don't, I don't know that and I don't do that. Um, so the text line's more for quilting, email's more for technical, how do I find a video, how do I know where, where my order's at, you know, that kind of stuff, okay? All right, now I've got a couple of these down here, and we will not be restocking these um, threads. So you can go in, and this is my favorite thread for applique. These are my basic colors and the ones that I use all the time. And they're, they're like uh, pack A, pack B, and they have different things in there, and you can see what they are on the website. So the pack A is the largest. It's normally almost $64, and it's on sale for $49. You get the, the little bias tape, which I use for like stems um, on my applique, your glue stick. You have six uh, threads. You've got a needle threader and some needles. So thread, glue, uh, stems, needles, and a bird threader. And that's our biggest pack. Then B, you have six spools of thread, the bias tape, and the bird threader. Uh, C is just uh, six spools of thread, and um, D is five spools, E is four, and F is three. So you've got some different um, little applique kits that you can pick from. And there may be one of them or two of them. There's not very many. Okay, any last minute questions Here's or one on the screen comments? From, uh, Let's see, we've got a, Facebook. This one is from Facebook. Do you have a simple one for beginners? I have only made two baby quilts, nothing as big as these. Okay, so um, lots of times people start with a small project so that they can get it done. But once you learn the square and a square system, it's, it's not scary to jump in there and start making bigger quilts or quilts that you normally would have looked at and said, oh, that one's too tough for me. We do have some great ones. Now, if you want just, just basic simple, then I suggest the Soldier's Comfort. Here, this one is really easy to do for beginners. And we have a class on this one. If you go to the beginning of, was it 2021, where we did a lot of beginners? And we, yeah. okay, so if you go to the webinar classes, go to our website, join up for the webinars, and go with, look, start looking at the January of 2021 20, videos, we started out with beginning quilts and then got, you know, as your knowledge grew, we, you know, the quilts increased in your knowledge. So the, what I'm saying is there's a class for this one in the webinars in January of 2021. And this one is just like a, a nine patch. They're different sizes, but it's like a nine patch and then like your big square. So very easy to do. The quick and easy book that comes with the original ruler. Yes. And the ruler comes with the quick and easy book. That's why I keep Steve around. He helps so much. I can't get to it easily, but the ruler comes with a book and it's called the quick and easy book and there's like six or eight patterns in there and those are all some great ones to do now they're going to use the square and square ruler they're going to have triangle units in them you know for this one here you probably have all the supplies you need to make it you, would, you don't necessarily have to have anything else so thank you Steve so here is the the ruler you can see the ruler here and then this is the quick and easy book and it has um, Five of the options, which are the triangle units, 21 different blocks, sizes, and then six patterns. So it is a great place to, to get started. 
Then the other one is this one here. And the quilts aren't too big, but they're a nice enough size that you can actually really use them. Um, and uh, both of these kits are on sale. And this one is just a simple four patch. We do use a four patch ruler to make our four patches, but you don't have to. And then three simple rectangles that are a split rail and then just a plain one and just a simple border. So any either one of these would be a great place um, to start. Um, also the train one, even though the it's got flying geese and half square triangle, I mean flying geese, option three in it, it's got the triangle units for the star. You know, that star is really the, the most simplest basic block that you can make with the square and a square system and it is a go-to block that I go to all the time because it's fun to make and they turn out great with the system. And so that American Railroad, um, the wet, that would be a great one to do. Your pattern and your fabric will all come together. You'll need the ruler to make it also. But that is a great one to start with. And just go in and start watching. You know, it's amazing. I have some people that have been with me for years and years and years. I've been doing this for close to 40 years now, all of my adult life. And uh, they're just learning and growing along um, and just, you know, are just amazing at what they make. And then I have some people that are just brand new that's just found me and watching the webinars, but they all talk about how uh, the more I watch, the more webinars, the more videos that we watch of it, the, the more we learn and the better we get. So, Where's Simple Simon at? Simple Simon is um, in the Quick and Easy book. Somebody had mentioned that. And it's just option one, yeah. So it's just option one. So like if you had chose these colors, tobacco in the middle with blue and then the other one is going to be blue in the middle with tobacco and that's simple Simon and you can make as many rows and as many as you want it's a smaller baby size quilt but you don't have to stop you can keep going if you want on it that's a good one okay other questions have any other questions okay so for those of you that new that don't know um, we have our quilting retreat it's it's close to the Dallas Fort Worth area we have people that drive and fly from all over and it is April 19th to the 23rd it is a retreat like you've never been to before if you've done retreats we have lectures at night we have all kinds of teaching during the day but you also bring projects that you want to sew on. It's not like you have to make this quilt because that's what everybody is making. You can work on what you want to work on. You can even bring stuff that you want to adapt over to the square and a square system. There's myself plus I think four other teachers that will be there and will somebody will be right there the minute you need help. Uh, they're all going to be teaching you know different things during the days and uh, we have our lectures at night. We're also planning on coming here to the YouTube studio and to the warehouse and then it's on our property with our house so we're going to do a tour of our home and a tour of the of the warehouse on uh, I think probably our Wednesday night um, or possibly our Saturday night we'll see uh, which one you come in um, morning and early afternoon on that Wednesday and then Sunday morning everybody um, travels back home and so our our sewing is finished and we pack up on Saturday and uh, so you get three full days of sewing and teaching Thursday, Friday, Saturday lectures and all of that. Um, antique quilts uh, in the lectures, history um, of, you know, different quilts and quilting and applique and all that. So just a really fun and exciting time with the quilt retreat. Then we also have Quilt Club Week. Quilt Club Week is online, but it's live the last week of September. That's when all the, the new stuff for that year is added. And uh, we have Quilt Club Week of 20, 21, and 22. I can't believe we already have three years behind us on Quilt Club Week. We started it during the pandemic when no one could go to a quilt show. And I was like, well, what do we want to do at a quilt shop show? What do, we, what do we go to see and do? Of course, we go to learn. We go to have fun. We go to watch lectures. We go to watch little demos. We go to have fun and hang out with our friends. And um, we go to learn. And that's what Quilt Club Week is. Um, <clears throat> is that it's got the lectures, it's got the little demos, it's got the classes, it's got everything, uh, but you get to do it in the comfort of your own home. You don't have to haul a sewing machine, you don't have to pack your jammies in a suitcase or get on an airplane to go to it. Um, you can just get to go and learn and have fun. So that's Quilt Club Week. Now you can go to the website and join Quilt Club Week right now and you can start watching 2020, 2021, and 2022 and then the last week of September 
uh, will be ready to go with our new ones. So um, it's a great deal to go in there and do that right now. Um, and then we have our premium club, which is our main club. Every Monday I teach um, a new class. We have a fall semester, a spring semester, and um, this is where these people are learning and growing and their knowledge and their skills and their perfection is just coming along so greatly. Uh, we work on projects um, and it's, uh, I don't know how to say that it's all about the teaching. It's not about the project. The project is only the tool that we use to teach you. So, you know, lots of times you see a quilt and you're like, oh, I want to make that quilt and it's all about the project. You're going to make beautiful quilts and you are going to have a project, but our premium club is all about the teaching. So every time it's not just, oh, here, cut this, cut this and put your block together. It's all of the tips and hints. Um, a lot of them are live so you can interact right then and ask questions. And of course, you, um, we're always there for you on the quilt text line. And then we also have the Facebook pages that are private for Premium Club and for Quilt Club Week. So. Those are some things that we do, and um, everybody's, I'm, I'm having a blast with it. You guys are having a blast with it. We're both learning and growing, and I love that. And I can do that because I'm not on the road. I'm not home. I used to only be home 65 days out of the year. Now I'm home, so I get to grow and learn and expand and, um, and have and have fun showing you guys all this stuff that uh, you can do to make new options and make new options yeah uh, 40 41 42 43 44 all of those options uh, if I was still on the road we wouldn't be be doing all of that or have the premium club as in-depth and um, as often as what it is so okay last minute questions nice. Bonnie says premium club is about making friends too yes um, there's uh, I love to hear the stories in premium club so a couple of women in Canada realized that they were kind of close together and so they've kind of formed a little bond up there. We've got other groups, other little pockets that have formed little square and a square clubs and groups. And um, then during Quilt Club Week we had like one sister in like California and another sister in Canada and they watched Quilt Club Week in their own homes but together. And so it was like they got to take the class together, and that was during the pandemic when you couldn't, you know, go and be with anyone. So that's really exciting that even if you have miles separating you from friends or from family, you can still get together, enjoy the same thing. And uh, now with FaceTime and all that, you can talk with each other as you're working on the projects. And the, everyone's just having so much fun making friends and learning and growing in their in their quilting skills. So that's very exciting for us and Steve and I are all about helping you guys and teaching you guys and um, you know um, Steve doesn't really know that much about quilting he knows what you know I teach and he knows how to answer the questions and stuff but as far as making a quilt he hasn't but he is the the, the techie he's the one that makes all of this technology come together so he can help you learn what you need to learn so that you can navigate um, the website and the webinars and all of that. He's there to help you with it and I'm here to help you with um, your quilting. I love it when people send me a picture of something that they want to make and and I can see their creative juices going and they just need that little that little nudge, that little bit of help to get them going. I love to be able to do that. Okay, any other questions? I didn't show the hen house today but go back on Sunday and Wednesday and look at those hen house units. They're, they're really fun and cool to make. I'm still I'm still making little hand houses for different quilts um, and it's great to um, go in and use up some stash or some scraps. We do. Um, I like to teach a lot with scraps because I think they make some of the prettiest quilts and it's you always I always feel accomplished when I get different little pieces of fabric and scraps moved out of my sewing room and get them into a beautiful project. Any other questions come on in? think we're good. Okay, those of you in Premium Club, I will see you on Monday. The block is so beautiful that we're going to be working on. I can't wait to show you how to do it. And uh, we're going to do some different Firefly units with it. So we're going to work on that. And these Firefly units have big color switches in them. So it's going to be cool to help you soak in these, um, these colors and where they go, whether they go in the center or whether they're the strips. Anyway, you're going to have fun 
with um, that block that we're going to work on. And we are, um, well, I guess we're not halfway through with our uh, our uh, spring semester, but we're moving on, moving on. I think we've had six classes or something like that. All right, any last minute questions? Okay, I'm going to say goodbye for now. Have a great weekend and make sure you get in there and get that stuff ordered before the sale is over because number one, it'll be gone. And number two, um, uh, the sale will be over. So 